Welcome back to Final Fantasy X's Masters Challenge mod. So it's been a couple of days since I sat down and recorded the previous episode video thing. Um, I had some notes that I took that I kind of went through while uh, I, I made them while I was editing. Just some things that I kind of noticed. Um, so... First things first, uh, I need to mention I redid the extractor boss fight because I noticed in editing I forgot to buy this before uh, doing it. And actually, now that I think about it, I wonder if you can just cross back over the moon flow and buy this. I'm not sure, I've never really tried. So I guess I may have done that boss fight again for nothing, but it's alright. I ended up getting this. Um, I got the same drop for Waka, his sleep proof ball that has one free slot. So, don't know if that's like the guaranteed drop from Extractor every single time, but I do have the same one. I meant to turn off full party AP sharing, and I, I thought I had it turned off, but I guess I must have accidentally kept it on again, so I had to re edit out the levels that I got from Extractor for everyone besides Titus and Waka. So I'm just keeping a note for later that whenever I do the next boss fight, I'll give uh, those characters an extra like level or two, which won't be for a long time. I think the next boss is like Sphere Morph. So we've got like a long way to play for that, but Yeah, I didn't want to give them extra levels that they didn't technically earn. Even if it's not super impactful. As far as anything else... I didn't do anything else with the save file. A couple of other things that I thought about from... After the boss fight when I was doing my editing though... Uh, I had the thought that I, I'm not sure if characters that are asleep can actually physically dodge attacks. So I may have been aiming with Waka for nothing, pretty much. I could have just defended or something. I guess it didn't matter because I still used the same amount of like potions to get through that boss. But just a thought I had. Also had the thought or the idea that I could have potentially used one of these skill spheres to teach Waka delay attack, and that could have potentially been helpful on the boss. But again, turns out I didn't actually need that, so I think I've saved myself a skill sphere for the time being. I don't know if I'm wanting to... I don't know if I want to use it on delay attack. I definitely don't want to do that now, but at, at some point we may revisit that. I don't think I have anything else to really mention game specific before we move on ahead. Oh, real quick. Actually, no, I think I turned, on, I turned back on full party AP sharing, which shouldn't really matter because I think there will be an organic way in most boss fights to have all the characters rotate in and gain their AP like they normally would, so should be fine. Yeah, uh, I guess we'll just press onward. I'm going to have a look at the spreadsheet again for the chests and stuff. Oh, and I guess maybe talk to people. Okay, no, nobody else is selling stuff here besides Awaka. And he's just got some items for me, which I think I'm pretty well stocked on. So yeah, last other major thing that I uh, was thinking about was a uh, big thank you to Corifian for not only dropping by the video, um, appreciate that, but also for sending me a cheat engine sheet to disable the battle theme 
since it's been getting kind of mass copyright claimed. I kind of forgot about that before I started recording. So, appreciate that. Um, the battle theme will just be whatever the normal area theme is, I think, usually. But yes, so, if you notice the battle theme missing from most, if not all, of these fights, it will be because of that. Right. So, Riku's agility is more than Titus, so, but she doesn't have first strike, and she has, okay, so I guess this is kind of the optimal party lineup now, technically. I do forget what the agility brackets are, like, off memory. I'm not sure if there is actually a tangible benefit to having Riku in instead of Yuna. But since I'm not sure, I'll just leave her like that for the time being. Now, I did notice we got five remedies from that chest. That is pretty substantial since we didn't really have remedies beforehand. I think we had one. So it's possible we may encounter, we may have to dip into that depending on what happens. Ooh, a treasure chest. Right, so I think this fight we get the normal battle theme because it's not like an encounter, it's kind of a scripted tutorial. So it's pulling from like a different area in the game's memory, or a, a different address, I don't know. I'm not an expert in like the memory digging science by any means. They use their treasures on monsters in battle. Oh! Well, that's hardly the twist I was expecting with these. I, I suppose without steel, what else could you really do but make them an enemy? High plosion. Oh, that's... Oh, high potion. I get it. I get it. Very funny. Is she 1 HP now? Alright. Very amusing. So what that makes me wonder is... If it's gonna do a high potion every time you kill it... Is it going to end up being just a better strategy to just leave it alone? Just generally? Because the thing about it is... That's a lot of damage to take every single time you're killing a chest. So, unless it, like, auto-potion heals, like, every time you kill stuff, I might try to leave it alone. At the very least, we definitely can't have Riku kill it. I think that's pretty obvious. But yeah, Chi Dungeon thing is indeed working properly. And put on cold ball. So what's the agility situation like? I wonder... I wonder if I can slow it. Seems a little silly, but... You may as well try. Alright, so you can slow it. I guess not attacking was the best choice there, since it was just gonna... Interesting. It's immune to haste. So, hang on. So is it still slowed? Okay. 
So the chest is immune to haste. Probably specifically because of these guys. Uh, you know, it would be kind of lame if you could have a situation where the chest would, like... You know, be spamming potions to the point where you can't kill anything. Alright. I am gonna use a... Oh wait, no, I can't use a grenade because that'll kill the chest. I was gonna use a grenade. But no, I'm not so sure. What I will do instead, though... Ooh, actually, what I will do first instead. I'm gonna blind this guy. I want to have Lulu kill the bug on the right. And then I want to have Riku use Antarctic Wind on the bug. I think that might be a one-shot kill. Because I remember from the like beginning fights, it was doing like six to seven hundred damage or so. So against an ice weak enemy, I would assume it's a one hit kill. Oh, not quite. Maybe there's some RNG involved in getting the one hit kill. Yeah, I think that's the play, is we just want to slow the chests with magic. Thankfully, we won't have to worry about them in too many areas of the game. Unless, uh, Kripian has actually added them to any areas, specifically. Or they, like, weren't before. Other thing I need to make a note of is change all these to Comrade. Because I'm not fighting that silly sleeping boss anymore. Oh, we got out of there untouched. Cool. I appreciate this uh, cheat engine thing for... You know, letting you hear the tracks, like the non-battle tracks a little more. That's pretty cool. I have also tried to turn my mic down a little bit from last time. Not sure if it's super noticeable. Uh, I just, I, I hate to blow people's ears out, because sometimes I might be loud, like, if something surprises me. Nice. You know, I want to, I want to do that to people. So, if the audio is good, then great. That is exactly what we are going for. Oop, bump my microphone again. I gotta stop doing that. Right. Right. What are we thinking here? Hmm. I worry if I use an overdrive, it's not gonna quite kill him. Maybe the move is Maybe the move is we just wait for all of them to do their thing before we do anything. Oh, maybe Waka with one stack of cheer could actually one shot the bug. Two stacks for sure he probably can. What's really great about this mod is I'm not going to spend, like, hours and hours stealing with Riku over and over. Okay. 
So probably one, one chew stack and you kill that guy. Cool. Kill him before we can potion. Because as fun as it is to get loot with, you know, stealing and stuff, it does kind of drag the playthrough on a little bit. Although for me personally, the fun factor usually outweighs that, but in any case, not having to steal from battles over and over again will make this probably uh, not as draggy as a normal game playthrough. Alright. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, when we're in Seymour's house in Guado Salam, you want to talk to Yuna last. Although, I might edit out all the, like, cutscene stuff here and just... Just, uh... Just skip to when we're actually, like, playing stuff. And again, I really can't, uh, take credit for myself remembering all of these chests. I am very much glued to this spreadsheet so that I don't miss anything. Alright. It's in Seymour's hat. Oh my gosh, it is so hard to see that chest. I always remember that that chest is there. I just never... Or I, I always remember that that chest exists. I just don't remember that it's there, usually. We do get the Brotherhood upgrade. And unfortunately, I did already see what it gets from the README file. But here we go, half MP cost. So this will be nice. Definitely, especially if we run into more chests. Uh, the enemies outside of Beaconel. And the, I guess, Omega Ruins later on. That might be nice. Actually, speaking of Omega Runes, that makes me wonder if the chests in Omega Runes are just going to auto-turn into Mimics. Or something. Because otherwise you just kill like one Zorus and that's that. Oh well, that's pretty far away. Half MP cost. Pretty, pretty nice. Well, half MP cost in trust and provoke to, and even delay, that's pretty, that's pretty substantial. That opens up a lot more tactical gameplay than you could really get away with otherwise because of Titus's MP, uh, MP stat not really being that great. All right. That is all of the chests in Glado Salam. Let me, let me talk to Awaka. Yeah. Actually, let me get the save ready to leave. And then we talk to Awaka. Just to minimize the work being done here. Okay. Um, let's also do the lightning dodging tutorial. All right, there is no lightning dodging tutorial in Cutscene Skipper. I forgot. Okay. I'll just have a look at Mr. Owaka's wares. Save it up. I not supposed to uh oh oh no is Awaka not here if you uh if you oops oh oops oh I've screwed myself haven't I unless he's in a different house but no I'm pretty sure he's in that one I think I've uh done an oopsie Hang on, everybody. I'm going to have to come back to Guadalajara Salam 
and uh, redo all of this so I can not uh, banish Awaka to the Shadow Realm this time. We'll be right back. Alright, here's Awaka. I did also notice from the spreadsheet, uh, it's after I specifically trigger the Thunder Plains stuff, I can then go back to the Far Plane and uh, there will be a chest there. But we'll do Awaka first. Let's see what he's got. Oh. Thank you. Oh boy. Let's see. Ew, nothing great. Whole lot of lightning wards though. May not be the worst idea. I think I'll get uh I feel like the main person I'd probably want to have a lightning board would be Riku because her HP is pretty miserable. And she really doesn't have... Well, let me look. Let me look at her magic defense compared to everybody else. Because surely the base stats have been readjusted since she doesn't get any levels until until Sphere Morph, right? So let's see. 10, 8, 8. Okay, so her magic defense is on par with everybody for the moment except you know the obvious like mage standouts so i guess really it's just whether or not i want to but to be honest it's probably not the worst idea in the world again because of her low uh, hp count so I, i'll get that don't think i want any other gears from here though I want to see what items does he have. Also, rip death touch Cactuar. Or, no, Kate Sith. That, that, that name has such a weird pronunciation, I can never remember it, so I just always call him Kate Sith. But I know that's, I know that's not actually how you pronounce it. Mm, I could keep up with tradition here. Why not? I'll just get a few of those. I think I can hold out until until later with just this supply though maybe there's some maybe I'll get some normal potions there might be something to be said for that oh. it is Thank pretty you. efficient to buy them yeah I mean like 10 for 200 that's nothing Could buy more, but I'll just save what I've got and try to be pretty efficient if I can help it. Alright. Now, I can trigger the Thunder Plains, come back and save, get the chest, and then get a move on. Can't believe I accidentally made Iwaka disappear and had to do all that again. I did skip the encounters this time around just because I already did them. Right. Right. Yeah, chest thing is pretty cool to me, though. Uh, definitely very logical change, seeing as, again, you can't steal from them. So, that would make that tutorial battle a soft lock. Them being both slow, slow vulnerable, and immune to haste is also nice. Because it means that they will never be, like, constantly, like, spamming potions or anything stupid like that. There's, there's a counter to it. I appreciate that. All right, let us save once more, then we can get to the Plains of Thunder. Do you know what? Actually, uh, let me look at the Guado Merchant. I doubt we've got any good here, but excuse me, Ju just in case there's like some 
Yeah, wow. A lot of, uh, a lot of goodies. Yeah, never know. Maybe there's, a uh, something useful, but no. We're keeping up with, uh, the lore. Awaka is goat. Right. Let me final check on my characters if there's anything I could really this is probably still good to have anybody else have like thunder wards or anything that would help silence proof could be interesting if we run into like lizards that silence or anything like that the only other thing I can really see Oh yeah, I should just put that on. Only other thing I think needs changing is well, that's probably probably good. Yeah. Only other thing that probably needs to be changed is Orin's weapon potentially. This could be useful. Uh, it's possible the whole counterattack thing still ends up being relevant here, but I think just to start, I want to try this silent strike and see where that gets us. Touch the save sphere again. Can't get away without saving every few seconds because I changed something. Okay. Planes of Thunder. I wanted the chest. Oh my gosh. Ah, it's so nice hearing this music in battle. Right. So, same deal here. This guy's zombied. Oh, but his attack can blind and slow now. And he's attacking with lightning. All right. And then this guy sleeps. All right, so the sleep proof ball is going to be kind of clutch here. As you wish. First things first, I will silence silence this dude cuz that will be annoying otherwise. Then, I guess we better get Kimari to blind this dude. And then, right. So we've got a whole lot of stuff. We could kind of, kind of just throw things at him. Hmm. Do I want to do that, or do I want to... I think probably the play for Lulu is we want to save her magic for this thing. So, I guess, let's just see what fish scales are doing. Alright, I think that's a respectable amount of damage. Oh my gosh. So you're telling me with a lightning ward it's one hit killing her. Alright then. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of it either. This may or may not be enough to actually kill him. Let's see. Alright, so we're doing about 700 with heals. I was worried that that one would have a little higher magic resistance than the last eyeball we saw. But we are okay. I wonder, since we have Silent Strike, would it be more efficient to just whack this guy to death? Rather than use all the MP on it? There could be something to that. Although, that would also be really lame, because that takes forever to do. So, I don't know if I'm going to do that. 
because it's just kind of stupid. Yeah. Let's see. Let, let's see what kind of damage we're doing. We're hoping for around 1600 at least. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's fine. So, two of these is enough to get the job done from full health. And honestly, even Orin did put a little dent in it with just the his sword, so. Alright. Ah, something else that I did not take into account. Is we have customized now. We can probably save over this, right? I'll just make a new save. I don't want to think that hard. Yeah, we can customize now. So, uh, I do want to look at what kinds of things can we customize with the stuff that we've got. Interesting. Alright, so piercing we now get from grenades. That's interesting. And not sure if those are any different. Ah, okay. So we can customize a slow touch now if we wanted to. Fair play. I feel like some of these customizes are different from vanilla, but there's like so many items in this game that I can hardly remember what's normally what. But alright. That's interesting. So we could use the black magic spheres for their like normal intended purpose of just like teaching multiple people magic. Or we could use it here. Alright. What about armor? So we've got wards. We've got some proofs. SOS shell. This is likely going to be something I end up customizing because it's just too critical of an ability to really go without. Oh, same with same with SOS haste. That that's a big one. I don't think I want to customize anything right this second i want to like wait until there's a boss and then maybe make a customize for like a boss if i think that it's a suitable strategy for that interesting we've got enough stuff for an auto med could be something yeah Here's actually what I was thinking for the black magic spheres. Normally, like, Waka learns Osmos, right? Yeah. So, what might be the play there is we send him down here to get this. And then I just use the black magic spheres to teach, like, Yuna and Lulu both Osmos. That might be handy. Or some combination of, like, Osmos and Lancet. But that is my... That's my current best idea for what to do with them, besides whatever thing you could customize with them. It was, like, Magic plus 20 or something. Whatever was it. Yeah. Though... There may be something to be said for giving magic plus 20 to one of Lulu's weapons. Whatever the weapon is. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like kind of early-ish in the game in terms of gear that you're getting. So it's possible that like you could put a magic plus 20 on it, but then... It might be like, oh crap, well I've now now I put that on there. 
but later on down the line there's a much better kind of starting piece that you could throw that thing on so for that for that kind of philosophy reasoning i'm gonna try to avoid customizing definitely right now anyway Let's uh, start walking. Please don't make it rumble. All right, these guys are terrifying. Ooh, it'll guard or use threaten. Okay. So, no need to blind them since it's just gonna guard over and over again. The threaten thing however, is concerning, because it is a slow monster. Yeah, it's got like one turn in here, so a Threaten could be like pretty devastating. And I don't believe Threaten is affected by silence or anything like that. So we may be in a bit of trouble with them. Oh, right. Not good. Not good. So the item is going to do fixed damage. That might be the only way we can speed kill this guy. Interesting. Alright, this one's weak to fire now. I don't think Waka has anything like that, no. Shoot. Alright. I'm gonna have to change his weapon pretty quickly here. Ah, yes. I, uh, was not thinking. Great. Well... We certainly can't defend against magic. Kill? Ah, no, that's right. It has high magic defense. Alright, this one counters with drain. Oh, that's all of the HP. Oh, we're slow. Oh, we're cooked. Slowed and threatened. Yep. Yep, it's it's over. Unless I can pull this off. Maybe it will be less over if that is the case. All right, you asked for it. All right. I meant to go for the Orox one, but I hit water and kind of changed tactics. Ah, huge. Okay, now we run into the issue of, of what do we do from here? Right. I could use a mix to get out of this one. Man, that drained a lot of HP. I think if I want to guarantee that we get out of this, I have to mix like two fish scales or something. So. Actually, maybe now's a good time to pull up the mix list. I don't think there's a whole lot that we can do with like fish scales specifically. But just in case there's like something I'm not thinking about. We'll try. I don't know. Yeah, like, the thing about it is that it's random. Maybe I should have just done two fish skills. Okay. So, still in a pickle. I think this guy's just gonna one-hit kill Riku. 
yeah. Unfortunate game over. Very unfortunate. It's the lightning's fault. <laughs> oh, I've never heard that. I have never heard that <laughs> that battle quote. Oh my gosh. That is so funny. Wow. Now that is hilarious. Alright, so... Unlike the P-Bird mod... The uh, dragon type guy is not gonna grow to the size of my TV monitor. But like the P-Bird mod, it is a gigantic problem and forces you to exercise target priority. Oh my gosh. I need to need to put Titus back on first strike. Alright. Here is my new plan. So it counterattacks uh it, it guards everything like permanently, right? Well, oh shoot. If we put it to sleep, then it can't do that. Dang, actually, is there anything we can do? I'm not sure if there's anything we can do. We can, yeah, no, because this one is going to counter, and we're not going to stop it from countering until this guy is asleep. And fortunate. Okay. What can we do? Could, could threaten this one. What is the what is our turn order looking like? Yeah, not great. I don't want. Eh. Still not enough to delay that man. Unforge. Me not having first strike is making this kind of kind of wacky. So, all right. Then, if I'm not going to be able to delay this one, then I'll just try and delay that one because this guy is pretty bad. Calm down. Nothing wrong with a little cheering. Alright, now you go to sleep. Solid. So, with him asleep, now we could theoretically silence this one before he wakes back up. Not only that, but I can also freely attack this dude. Oh no. Interesting, it missed. Ah, I'm gonna have to use that slow proof armor. I forgot who had it, but it's it's coming on. Ah, to silence you. Ah, no, but wait. Ah, oh, the slow messed it up. This is such a rough battle to work around. Like, the lineup is so... Half tempted to do the mix again. Maybe I could pray to the slot machine gods that they will... They'll let me actually kill the right enemy this time. 
I'll just try two fish scales together. I couldn't really see from the list I was looking at what this would do. I don't know if this will be any better or worse. Alright, well. That works. Be blinded, fiend. Pretty significant. Oh, we don't have... Ah, oh, right, this is the guy that does that. Yeah, that's why we don't like him. Totally forgot. So, how shall we do this? What is the magic resist situation like? I may have to customize. Oh no, wait, but this weapon No, the Sun Strike weapon doesn't have a slot for piercing. Farewell. Okay. That's interesting. Get to the save sphere real quick. Yeah, no, I don't think the silent strike weapon. No, that's unfortunate. I would have definitely put piercing on there ASAP. I think I have the stuff for piercing, right? Yeah. Yeah, I would have totally done that. Great. So that battle is interesting. That is a that is a very challenging lineup to deal with. Right, who has slow proof? I know somebody has it. Let's start with that. So should I just switch to Silent Strike specifically for elemental battles then? That might be the move because otherwise Orin is kind of useless against against the big lizard. And Yeah. Yeah, that might be what we end up needing to do. It's slow proof. She's got silence proof, but I don't think we particularly need that. Yuna had slow proof. So normally it's the lizards that petrify, but I think it got changed to just drain poison sleep. So we're probably okay without stone proof, as far as I can tell. So I will switch to slow proof in the event that I have Yuna on the field. I think that's as optimized as I can really, really think to put together without customizing anything. Yeah, this lineup, not as bad. Ah, yeah. If we get this lineup, I can have Orin come in as the first character and do that. Golden. Actually, I could have gotten away with magic there since I'm right next to the save sphere anyway. Oh my gosh, not having anything I can do about that attack one-shotting her, though, is rough. Oh, well, I guess the thing that you could do would be 
null shock. If you null shock, then you don't have anything to worry about. So I guess that's how you keep her from getting one-shotted. Which, in this lineup, doesn't really matter since we don't need Riku to live for anything. We basically have this encounter solved. But there is the encounter with the two floating eyes and the iron giant, I think. Which is a little later. So I might have to remember the whole null shock thing for that specifically. Sit back and watch. Alright. Ooh. Oh, this ain't too good. Grenades for piercing is kind of interesting because you can just buy them. So we may end up in a situation where I have to buy some grenades to put piercing onto something. Because I think piercing would help Titus and probably Waka a decent amount. Honestly, it's possible it would help them here. But I think I think we can get I think we can get away without customizing a piercing onto anything here. And we just kinda use tactics to get around Big Lizard being the way that he is. I need to go get some water. This is my note to edit this out of the video. Alright, I'm back. Got myself a little bit of water. Haven't done marathon recording like this, really. Uh, in a while, if at all. Excuse me that I can remember, so I'll just keep going. I actually had an interesting idea while I was uh, up from my computer. Uh, that being, I may want to actually, like, uh, separate from recording, play around with Riku's mixing. And what I mean by that is with the items and like the inventory that I have kind of just mess around with like supercharged cheat some and just see like what item combinations can make what things like I probably wouldn't try every combination necessarily but just see like what are some of the key things that I have access to now because mixing is such a flexible kind of tool knowing like what are some of the things that I can make with my current inventory is very helpful. And, uh, I don't know. It, it's hard to find a good, like, a really good comprehensive mix list. Like, there's some out there. But, like, one that really has every feasible combination. My, my dream, actually, or, like, something I wish existed, like, right now, would be something where you can just... Like choose your first and second items and it'll just spit right back out you like what is the mix that you're gonna get like a website or alternatively something like that but like you can put your save file in there and it'll just read your inventory and say you can make so and so mix with so and so item combination and honestly even as like a bonus feature maybe like it would tell you how many mixes you could make of that kind of I, I don't know a lot, a lot of math and stuff involved. Just a, probably just a pipe dream, if anything. Thank you. But it would be a handy tool. Let's just get out of here. No joke. 
Right. So I should be safe to whack him. And then back on the field. Get walk out here. Oop, don't want to do that. Silence you. Oh, it's so nice to actually see that work and not get blocked by Big Lizard. And then, I guess it's Riku's turn. We'll just take her out of there. I want to see... I'm pretty sure this will work. Assuming I read the monster sensor description correctly. Yes. Perfect. All right, now we nuke it down with healing. Actually, I'm not sure if... I'm not sure if between her and Waka they can take it out. Titus's accuracy hasn't gone up that much, has it? I can't remember. I want to see if Kimari can hit it, actually. I'm more curious about that. Yeah, alright. The accuracy boosting definitely helps. Oh, picked her again. So is it... Okay, so that was just a random chance then. Hmm... No, the heck it's not. Okay. May, uh, I haven't fought it enough. It's possibly random chance. Mm. Well, this isn't pretty. Given the history of the behavior of things in this mod, it is entirely possible that that thing specifically targets characters without Null Shock. So I guess I will have to be careful about that in the future. It might have also been going for characters with the lowest HP slash without Null Shock. I'm not sure. I'll have to keep an eye on it though. Clearly, you do not mess with the evil eye. Like that's just not a thing that you do. Or it will mess you up. Hmm. Well, not ideal. But lesson learned. I will be more careful, hopefully. Now, this is interesting. I'm actually not even sure if I should be doing this. Given that, thank you, the Celestial Weapons aren't really a thing in this mod. Ooh. Very nasty. We are not going to be able to silence all of them. We're going to have to pick. Ooh. I think I definitely do want the Larva silenced. Counters everything with Thundara. Well, I don't think you're going to be countering much when you're silenced. Well, he's got nothing to say about it, so I guess I was right. Okay. I guess, since I still don't remember if this was a one-hit kill, I don't think it is. We'll just finish the job here. Yeah, no, not a one-hit kill. Ooh, focus, that's not good. Oh, a slow horn, that's never good. Hmm. 
Hmm. Not sure if it's going to slow us again. Well. Should I just use an overdrive on him? I kind of want to save my overdrive for the big lizard encounters and stuff while I'm here. Because that dude is pretty problematic. Yeah, like if I had a shooting star for him, that would easily... That would easily make like a significant difference. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Is just hang on to that. I will, however, silence every imp I see because they are just, I think, too devastating. Especially because they counter with drain. I think I think it's honestly mandatory. Though that may become a problem later because I, I don't know if I have the resources to do that too much. Seeing as how Waka doesn't have. Been an MP or any way to get it back, really. Oh, what? Oh, he's not. Okay. Oh, 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 bad. Oh, very bad. Uh oh. Right, so if it counters everything with Thundara, yeah, there's not much we're gonna be able to do here. No. Not till I can fix Orin. Uh, that's kind of an expensive fix. Maybe we'll just do this and keep us safe. Yuck, dude. He's healing so much. Yeah, that's fine. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> this is really cool. So, because he's null... Because he's got null tide, Titus isn't really getting the bonus damage from water... But because Titus has a double element weapon still, it's not healing him. Fascinating. Element mechanics are so much more interesting in this game than like what I would have ever really thought or seen. Because there's just never really a reason to like look that deep into them. I appreciate the the like tooltip at the beginning in the tutorial for for the whole elements thing. Piece of cake. Like that alone has helped bolster my understanding of the elements and made me able to kind of mentally keep up with why certain things are happening the way that they are. I don't think I need to change anybody else's weapon. Yeah. Right, chest in here, right? Yeah. 5,000 gil. Phew. Money. Yeah, good chance I buy some grenades and get me piercing. No, why? Okay, what? I forget what elements these guys have been using is the issue, so I'm not sure what to null, if anything. I don't think there's an overdrive I would particularly want to use here. Well, I mean, this could be something. It takes a long while, though. Oh, I didn't change my characters all to the high agility ones. Ah! I uh, forgot to do that. Great. Oh, it's so delayed. 
E... I guess... Worth? I don't know. Just to be safe. That's not lovely. Oh, Demi, interesting. Gosh, this is so annoying, man. I can't really... Ambushes in this mod are so, <clears throat> excuse me, so deadly because of like the kinds of things that monsters can do. Alright, well, I mean, Orin is like ridiculously slow, but this is probably still a good idea. entirely sure if Titus is going to be able to hit him. Actually, that's a bad idea anyway, because he's got a counter. Really, anybody doing anything to him besides Waka is a bad idea. It's like... Yeah. I could provoke. Maybe. Although, I don't know if provoking prevents the counter or not. Could, uh, let's experiment. See if Provoke prevents him countering. Why not? Science. Targeted Drain. Alright, not lovely. So, if you're provoked... Wait, no, if the Drain is what he's using as his Provoke move, then it actually doesn't matter, because... Even if he didn't counter me with Drain, he would still probably Drain Titus anyway, so I'm stuck having to mute him again. That kind of sucks. At least we save our overdrive. But man, I'm going to need an Orox Reels to deal with them later, I think. Or something like that if we come across him again. I wonder if there was a silence touch for Kimari that I could have picked up somewhere. That may have been the case at like Moonflow or something, and I just missed it. I I don't remember now. Yeah, unfortunate. Alright. Keep moving. Oh my gosh, come on. This encounter again, dude. Why? I'm so sick of these guys. I'm so sick of these imps. Dude, 
They drive me up a wall. Like, there's not been a single iteration of them that hasn't been annoying. Oh, Waka, you're so slow. Do I take the risk? No, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna get rid of this guy and then... Let's see what we can do about the other one. Maybe the play is we have Orin shooting star. Yeah. I think that's what we gotta do. The shame Orin couldn't hit these guys. That would make this significantly easier. Mm. All right. Gosh, I accidentally hit my stick, and then it <laughs> that counted as my uh, overdrive input. Cons of Nintendo Switch Pro controller. Very large stick. I guess next time I encounter an imp, I kind of have to use Orox reels. Wait, Titus is doing the same amount of damage as when he had Null Tide. Okay, so I take it back, actually. What's actually happening is because it's technically water plus lightning, it's not getting nulled, right? I uh, may have overthought it a little bit in my initial assumption. Definitely... Definitely a very cool mechanic to learn about all the same. Waka is so slow. Which is really rough for the amount of utility he's got. Ooh. Actually, that brings me to a potentially game-changing strategy. Do you know what I'm going to do? I think I need to have Kimari learn... No, not Sleep Buster. Where is it? Eh. Silence attack. I think this is the play. Because Waka's MP is so bad, I can't count on him to get me through the Thunder Plains. There's just too much walking to do. He's run out already. The only other character who's going to hit the imps is Kimari because of accuracy and stuff. I think, I think that will be worth it in the long run, because Kamari's got loads of MP. So, I'm going to have to remember from now on that he has that. And I definitely think that's a better alternative than me trying to be a gamer with Orox reels every single time I fight those guys. Like, there's just no way I'm going to stick it every time. Not to mention, like, I'm not getting my overdrives that often. Um, what modes should I be using, actually? Because I'm not taking a whole lot of damage right now. I don't think Rook is going to be any good. Because I'm just not blocking damage enough. This could be something if we get slowed a lot, but again, the plan is to try and prevent that. So I guess since we aren't really taking too much damage, I'll just go full ally. I don't really have a better idea. 
I think we get... I think we get enough turns per battle that it'll give us a decent amount of overdrive gain overall. Oh. oh my gosh. Gotta keep changing my weapons. I think I'm doing pretty well here, considering this is, like, my first session in the Thunder Plains. Could be going a lot worse. Not down there. There's definitely, like, enough counterplay to these enemies to keep things interesting, I think. Right. Uh, can I kill him in one go? I think only if everyone attacks him can we kill him in one go. Because Yuna and Waka, they aren't really... Hmm. Ooh, I just thought of a good customize. I think I need to put Water Strike on Waka's Sleep Proof Ball that he's got on. I think that's the move. It'll be worth the investment because he'll be able to do more damage to these guys. We can kind of get around this little awkward part right here where we don't quite have the damage to kill it and we don't want to waste too much MP. Although, that uh, being said, this should kill him, right? Yeah. Solid. Sit back and watch. Yeah. All right, now I have a bit of a cheesy idea since everybody is on ally overdrive mode. Oh wait, Titus doesn't have the <laughs> the water water uh, or the ice weapon. I mean, for this guy. Got. Since we do have everyone on ally, now. I think I can potentially get away with just mashing through turns on uh, turbo mode and charging some overdrives a little bit. Very silly way of playing, but if it works, it works, you know. Just in case we have an emergency situation later on in here. I know I said I would try to not do stuff like this, but I don't know. I, I find it mildly amusing. And again, you just, you never quite know what could happen if I get like another really bad ambush or something. I may very well want a whole bunch of overdrives ready. This is the end of our overdrive charging adventure. Oops. Wah, can you kill it? Ooh, that was close. Okay. Okay. Water ball. Oh, I don't need to customize at all. Oh man, it's a good thing I didn't touch my menu yet. I would have wasted it. 
Fantastic. Cool. Very helpful. Thank you. Oh boy. All right, now this may have this may have kind of ruined it, this for me. Uh, me hitting the statues. Uh, don't know if I can slow them. I'm gonna say I haste Riku. Have her try to nuke them down with items. So the only one they're not resistant to is, of course, Fish Scale. Uh oh. Oh no, no, not like this, no. Oh, should have guessed. I'm so scared. <sighs> They're countering with, with Thousand Needles. So that's not gonna be affected by blinds. Don't know if I can put them to sleep. I, well, I mean, I literally am physically unable to right this second because Waka is out of MP. I think probably the best solution here is we just Grand Summon Ixion and we nuke them with with the the thing, you know, that thing. My name's Yuna. Pleased to meet you. The overdrive. Yeah. I may have very well just sabotaged myself by praying to the statues. I should have thought about it, because you're not going to steal from them. They're not going to drop anything. And I don't even have the Celestial Mirror. I don't even know if the, that chest exists in this mod. There's, like, no reason for me to bother with this. So yeah, I am no longer ashamed that I wasted half of that last battle just charging overdrive mode sitting in my menu, because clearly it was of the utmost importance that I keep them for the problem that I brought upon myself. No! No! So here we find ourselves in an interesting situation. Which one would be worse? Probably having that one attack would be worse. I have Titus Haste on, so we can keep the Silent Strike on more safely. And you get out of here, because you have no Thunder Lord of any kind. Cool. I wonder, can I poison him? Not sure. Keep trying. Do that while I'm charging Riku's overdrive. A little bit of science. Get rid of that immune. You can poison him. Very helpful. Yeah, I definitely have not been utilizing Riku's poisoning capability a whole lot here.
solid. Alright, that one is immune to poison, as we would have probably guessed. So, just gonna guard a whole bunch, get my overdrives. I can definitely confidently say I would not be doing something like this if it wasn't for the Cactuars. Like, I, this is probably overkill for the level of challenge in this mod. There's definitely, like, plenty of counterplay to the encounters. The Cactuars, however, when your best weapon against them is Riku with fish scales and they counterattack with thousand needles that is when things get a little sketchy and I really most certainly do not want to be throwing too many phoenix downs around if I can help it though again I did kind of that was my own problem that I've created for myself, not thinking about the consequences of my actions for touching the statues. Let me read this real quick. Just in case I need to do that thing later. I, I, I don't know. Somehow I doubt I need to ever touch that chest, but... It's not stopping. Oh, I need to talk to you, not a walk. Hmm. Hmm. There could be something here. Where would this help? Besides here. Probably just the Seymour. Seymour fight, maybe. Although, having someone SOS Null Shock. Well, he'll have more... HP by then, so SOS might not be the worst thing. Granted, this is all, you know, contemplating based on the vanilla Seymour. Obviously, he'll be different. Interesting. I think that's all I can say is just interesting. Right. Should I? I guess I can save over this one. Yeah, that's probably fine. I definitely have a lot more respect for the people who make Final Fantasy X videos and record and edit and all that, because this is definitely quite the arduous process. Longer than... You wish. Uh, what I really considered. Oh, I forgot to change his weapon. Oh. I guess that's fun. Only encounter I really don't want him to have that is for the big lizard. Aha! Almost forgot. Kimari knows the the sauce. being that Kamari does not know the damage, so let's get Waka in here. Holy smokes. That is a huge upgrade. I am now extremely glad that I went back in Moonflow and got Orin the Silent Strike weapon. That is massively helpful. 
Like, I figured it would probably be a good utility thing against, like, maybe the odd here or there, but it is making a colossal difference here. Now, I'm not sure how far I will make it in this session. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm going to make it all the way to Sphere Morph, because that is quite a long traversal. Ooh. Okay. Now, here it gets interesting. Because now what I need to do is Sleep Buster. So that I can actually silence the element. And then, yeah, okay, that's that guy. Alright, this is an interesting lineup. And it makes me even more glad that I taught Kimari silence attack. Because now what I can do is I can have Waka save his MP purely for Sleep Buster. Is this going to be enough to kill him? Yes. Okay. Stop ah, piercing. Forgot. Forgot. I forgot. Man, nobody does any damage to that thing. Best bet is for me to just use this thing. I'll threaten, I forgot about that. Oh no! That is not too good. Alright, what we thinking? Oh! Oh snap. Mm, this is kind of put a whole old gem in my strategy here. Uh, okay. Well. I can see what Blitz Ace will do to it. And then just have Yuna use a null. So I'd rather not use more than one sleep buster per per battle if I could help it. Unless it's like desperate. Nice. Very nice. Mm. Yeah, because Kamari can get MP back. Do that. Huge. Let's see. What are we getting back? Yes. Marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. Go back to this.
This mod is so, like, interesting and different from P-Bird mod because, like, the encounters are very... They're, like, super strong on mechanics, and, like, when you figure out a mechanic, it, like... It, like, practically completely solves it, and you're able to, like, extremely mitigate the threat. And, uh... And minimize your resource consumption whereas p bird mod i felt like you had to dip into your resources quite a bit because encounters were just kind of enemies just kind of fought you harder it wasn't as like puzzly and like counterplay oriented as this mod it's definitely very interesting i do very much need to finish p bird mod at some point it's kind of on my to-do list. It's just a, a bit of a lengthy endeavor. Because yeah, it's... Oh my gosh, these guys. What is that ICV? Holy. Alright, moment of truth. Be gone. Solid. Alright. Oh my gosh, dude. No. What? Alright. What else can we do? We could... No, I don't think there's any way that this is going to reduce 1,000 needle damage. Let's just try a seed cannon. See if we can confuse him. Yes. Fantastic. Oh, wait, did it counterattack itself? Oh my gosh, that's so funny. That's how it's done. Sure is. Yeah, getting those extra overdrives from like the long battles, I don't regret it now. That actually like was immensely helpful. All right, no more chests for what looks like a pretty significant stretch of Thunder Plains. Ooh, this guy. Okay, I've been looking forward to this. All right, so. I'm curious if we can slow him. I want to try that first. Yes, all right. Can we poison him? Yes, also. Alright. And if we can blind him, we should be good to go. Yes, okay. So now, about the only other thing with him is... His physical defense seems to be pretty high. So we're going to have to get Orin in here, and maybe Lulu if we want to speed this up. Yeah, I say we just do that. I think this is a battle worth using MP on. What kind of damage we got. Alright. Ooh, huge poison damage. Quite massive. That's very significant. So, between slow, blind, and poison, it's pretty much a uh, win. And I think we can just... Yep, let the poison kill him. No time to waste. Let's go. 
All right, so that's good to know. That makes the encounter with that and the two evil eyes significantly less scary in my head. The utility that I've been able to get out of Kimari has been great. I'm like, I am incredibly happy that I have gotten the payoff that I was looking for from having him go down the agility path, like right at the start. Like that has been monumental in terms of like the scope of this playthrough and what I've been able to do. It's interesting that it counterattacks its own focus with Thunder. I guess it's because of the way that like counterattacks are coded to where not that. So where it's like if XYZ targets this enemy, not just if you are attacking it, it's just if a move is targeting it. Something I've kinda noticed from the time I've spent looking at P Birdman's guide. And how counterattacks for enemies kind of work relative to how I kind of see them in the game. Hey, let me hit the safe sphere, man. I guess, yeah, I guess I can save here. I don't really see a reason for me to backtrack. All right, since I'm kind of getting this encounter a lot, I'll probably edit this one out. Just get a move on. Trying to think through like what to keep and what to cut out has been kind of interesting too when playing this game. I enjoy editing. I don't really do it as much as oh, uh, I don't do it as much as I uh hmm. I'm gonna go with this. Yeah, cool. Oh, their physical defense isn't insane. Okay. Granted, that implies that you can hit them. Although Riku can, so. Hmm. 
Hmm. I wonder if Lulu would be any good against them. But yeah, it's been fun. It was fun uh, editing the first, like, one of these, because it's cool thinking about, like, what is worth keeping. What, uh... Hmm. What should I... What should I keep versus let go, you know? And seeing the video kind of start out long and then end up not as long by the end is pretty nice. See no difficulty. Feels like I'm condensing it into an overall better experience. Alright, let's speed this up a little. Come on, Poison Touch. Oh. Yeah, the thing with the battles here is... I'm not, like, physically dodging everything, so Dancer isn't really great. But I'm also not blocking a lot of magic, so... Rook isn't really great. So about my best idea is Ally. If anybody comes up with a better overdrive mode idea for Thunder Plains, I'll be interested in seeing that. If I... You know, whenever I get around to watching other people play some. So used to Kamari being the slow character. Alright. Now there's another like one last chest down here. So I'll have to do a few more of these. Ah yeah, this is the encounter I was thinking about. But I was kinda curious how it would go. Right. I forget if they counterattacked specific. I don't think they counterattacked specifically, but I am just gonna. Actually, no. I'll. Uh... Do you know what? I'm gonna try magic, because I haven't really had Lulu out a whole lot. I'm kind of curious what the magic defense situation is like. Okay, not not great. That wasn't a very good idea. All right, moment of truth. Is it gonna? Okay, so it does seem to opt for the character with the with the lowest. Lowest, um, lowest HP. All right. Here is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be a little cheeky and do that. Because I do not want to game over to this thing. Bring it on. We're gonna also have Waka Sleep Buster. There we go. Then he should be able to kill it next time he attacks. Solid. I foresee no difficulty. Holy. Man, is he really that slow? My gosh, Orin's getting so many turns. Oh my gosh, dude.
Go off, man. Alright, so this is still a spooky encounter because having two of the evil eyes have their turns back to back, they're just gonna kill whoever has the lowest HP because they do so much physical damage. Or, well, not physical damage, just, you know, damage. They do so much damage. Oh, more fish scales. Thank you. I've spent a whole lot of them. And I needed that. Ah, yes, my favorite encounter. Back for round three. Ooh, here's an interesting thought. What if I slow him? And Sleep Buster. Didn't try that before. Oh, yeah. Okay, now which of you gets the turn first? Yeah, I think it's probably a better idea to do that. And this is the one that uses Sloga, right? Not sure if Titus is gonna hit him or not on the counter, so no, I don't want to do that. We can just cheer and maybe walk a one-hit kills the imp now. Nice, exactly enough. Oops. Oops. Well, we started off good, and now we've ended in a pretty bad position. Hmm. I'm really afraid to do a mix. Like, really afraid to do a mix. Because if it, like targets the wrong one, it could be kind of disastrous. Uh, I think we might be cooked. I may have very well ruined this. Oh yeah, because no, Kimari's slow. Let's see, she is slow proof, not sleep proof. No. I think we might have 
might have messed ourselves up too badly. I'm going to have to kind of go all out with the mix and just hope that, uh... Let's see, what's the highest level ice mix I can make? That would be the thing that kills the lizard, hopefully. Alright, well, I could make a winter storm, but it is going to be extremely costly. Ugh. Do I do it? I mean, how bad... I wouldn't be that far back if I game over here, right? I would be back at the lightning. I don't think it's worth doing that. I'll try doing this and see, like, can I kill them? Alright, well, Lizard is dead. Alright, saved it. That was more than a little spooky. I definitely thought I was cooked there. Good save. See, I think the slow and sleep buster thing, like, wasn't a bad idea, but... If you can't kill the right enemy fast enough... If you, if you don't deal with that lizard fast enough, you get major problem. So, not... Me not switching Titus's weapon to the ice weapon... Was a pretty significant problem. Alright, and now... We get the same thing, but now Waka can't put him to sleep. So about my only hope here, I think, is an Orox Reels. Alright, I go for either water or gold. Oh, dude, I'm cooked. Well, I did get this. Oh, that slows him. Okay. Well, not great, but I might be able to do something. How much damage are we going to do here? Okay. We're going to get triple sloga, man. Such a nasty move. Alright, I'm not sure what the magic... I can't remember if the magic defense here would let Lulu kill him or not. And she's like too slow of a character that I would want to risk. No. I'm just going to have to do that. Ouch. Not great. So, now though, we are, actually, no, wait, Waka is sleep proof though, right? No, no, he's not. Hang on. I'm going to do that. Ouch. Oh, brother, dude. This is not good. Alright, I know for sure Lulu is going to be able to kill that dude. She'll take a couple... No, that's not... It's not happening. Dang it, man. Getting this encounter twice in a row sucks. I've got no MP to deal with it the proper way. Here's what I can do, actually. Or is Kimari slowed? Oh no, he's not slowed. Alright, good thing I like triple checked. That would have been probably not great. Out. 
All right, not great. If we target Orin, I think it's kind of... Ooh. Ah, yeah. Unfortunate, man. Eating the game over. There's just nothing you can do if you can't, like, put that guy to sleep. <sighs> that is a rough game over to eat, man. I tried. I really tried. Messing up that Orox reels, it just blew the whole thing. I just did not have good encounter RNG going up that way. So again, I uh, will take no shame in the abuse of, like, these kinds of battles where I can just keep the enemies permanently silenced and just charge overdrives for the whole thing. Because clearly, you need them. So, alright, I will, I think turbo mode through this charge up overdrives, probably edit this part out and get back to you guys once something uh, interesting starts happening again. Alright, we're back to this encounter again. I had the larvas like three times in a row, which was very silly. Now... Sleep Buster once again. Get him out. I would like to try to do this without overdrives if I can help it. I would just... I think I would feel a lot better about a solution that allowed me to play it that way, but... Don't know if that is what is ultimately going to happen. So, the next priority target is we want to, like, totally get rid of the lizard. He needs to be out of this battle. So, I will switch Titus to the cold ball. Silence this dude. Miss. I say switch Titus to the cold ball? I'm gonna switch Titus to the cold sword. Hate this guy. I... Gosh, now I can't get rid of him. Ah, oh, that Sloga, man. It just destroys everything. Yeah, I think I'll spend a Blitz Ace on that. Little bit overkill. Maybe I can silence silence the uh, imp now. Maybe, hopefully. Perfect. Oh my gosh, the big lizard tried to guard him. No, 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 no. You're not allowed to do that anymore. If we get this encounter again before we leave the Thunder Plains, I am going to shooting star this guy. I don't think I really have any other choice if I want to actually like get through. Well then, what next? Let's see. Just to remind me, how much damage does this do? Okay, that does respectable damage. I actually could have been doing that this whole time. I do feel a little bit silly now. Come on, Kamari. You got it. Yeah. It's 
Oh, wait, actually, <laughs> I could have just done that. Oops. This, I think that is single-handedly the worst encounter in this whole area, is that right there. That is a really, really rough one to deal with. Okay. Back to business as usual. Encounters that, uh, aren't insane. Oh, right. Probably I can edit this one out too. This is nothing we haven't seen before. can hit Reaper through darkness. Alright then. Farewell. I'm just turbo mode minding my business through the encounter and all of a sudden that happens. Guess you really gotta be careful. Alright, well, there's all my MP. And do we get one more? No. Alright. That is the Thunder Plains. Oop, on my microphone again. I gotta stop doing that. Alright, that was very lengthy. I've been recording for two and a half hours. Although I think only two of those hours I was actually in the Thunder Plains. Maybe. Yeah, that was very long. The overdrive charging business was uh, a little wacky. Um, but to me, it seemed like the best, safest, most efficient counterplay to some of those like nastier encounters was to just have overdrives. Optimal, not fun to watch, but hopefully the editing in that section condensed it a little bit so you didn't see all of the turbo mode nonsense that I was doing. Definitely some good fights, though. Uh, I'm not, like, not molding or anything. Definitely some good stuff in there. So... Let's make a new... post-Thunder Plane save? Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Let me have a brief look at the read me forward master's challenge real quick make sure I don't uh, miss anything let's see all right so nothing for cutscene remover till Makalania nothing on full party AP sharing for a very long time So, yeah. Alright. We are in the clear for the moment. Now, good news is the readme says that we don't have to do any mini games. The rewards have been removed. So, no butterfly catching, which is great. Because butterfly catching makes me unbelievably upset. Like, I really hate that minigame. So, thank you for not making me do butterfly catching. I, I appreciate that. Okay, after pondering for a few minutes, I have made the decision to end this installment here. Because, indeed, I have been recording for a very long time. And I could use a break. And I'm going to have a decent amount of stuff to edit out anyway. But I think the next time I get back into this, 
I should be able to get to Sphere Morph and hopefully beat Sphere Morph in one sitting. And then I'll just have to see where I can go from there. I doubt I'll be able to do both Crawler and Seymour like in that same session, but definitely can do definitely can do Sphere Morph probably, so Appreciate you guys watching as always, and that's all I got. Have a good one.